narcolepsy is not a joke, guys. Yeah, so it's cold for us, of 
Floridians. I know some of you guys are from up north, so you guys are like, that is so not cold. 68 They're is- They're laughing at us right now. Yeah, you guys are laughing at us. It is freezing. And we were all like, oh my goodness, I could I had like a blanket over me and I was like, nope. We all have our winter jackets out and stuff like that. I'm not I was okay, I was in shorts and a t-shirt, but my entire family is in shirt, uh, jackets, jeans. Janice had three blankets on her with a dog. Don't question me. I will. That was cool. Like I like to, like I like to call me. I am a tropical bird. <laughs> so don't blame me. But now we are going back home. Judd and Jackie are waiting for us at our palace. Take her out. Take her out. Go for the gut. Oh my gosh. No violent coaching. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's running away. He ran away. Yeah, Harlow's Come on, the victor. Ryan. <laughs> he literally ran. So, my beloved Jackie is leaving us once again. You know, you guys gotta come down to Tampa Bay. She wants me to go harass her in Tampa. I don't know why. You guys always love to see us together. I don't know why. It's because they love me. Or me. <laughs> Mainly me, probably. They just like to see the dogs together. Probably that too. Or our just sense of humor, which we lack of. But till then, we always have our plans of meeting, always and forever. I love you, my dear. I will see you. The next time, we'll be bye, at her place. Bye, so. Bye. She said bye. So Judd and Jackie left and I need to rest. I am super tired and I am worn out even though I have not done anything. And even when I was at Paul's house, I was pretty much just laying down the whole time on the couch, just resting up. So just to see if I could, you know, wake up, be able to go grocery shopping later tonight. Yeah, we're going at night to see if resting for a couple hours is going to help. Um, I even made a nice little smoothie, just a bunch of fruits. Hopefully this is considered juicing. I don't know. Jackie was here when I made it. I was like, is this juicing, Jackie? She's like, I don't think so. Mm, it's pineapple, kale, mango, and orange juice. Um, I call this my slime time live smoothie. It's a green. Yeah, green. So... Of course, it matches everything else, my favorite color. So I'm gonna have a nice little smoothie and see if this is just boosts my energy because I'm just so worn out already. I'm just not doing my best, sleepy, haven't done much. So see if this helps. I'm not gonna say I'm having a power nap because this power nap feels like it's just a quick like five to 30 minute nap. And I feel like I'm gonna go to sleep for good four to five hours, sadly. So let's see how I feel when I wake up. Sadly for a narcoleptic, when we go to sleep during the day and wake up, we feel even worse, but my body is asking for this. So cheers for a narcoleptic power nap. 
So I'm awake, as you guys can see, it's night time. I went to sleep, like around one. It is seven o'clock now, so I wasted the day away. I told you it wasn't gonna be like a 30 minute nap. I feel like the type of naps I take only a narcoleptic gets. So this nap was the most worthless nap of my life because I felt like it was supremely worthless. I felt like I woke up every five seconds and I was just very restless. And I'm just thinking, why didn't I just wake up and just stop napping, napping. But I just kept trying to sleep in a sense. But it was more of like, I woke up and I was like, just looking around and just went back to sleep. P point being, I just feel super restless, super irritable irritated, annoyed, annoyed with myself, grumpy. And this is the life of a narcoleptic and how we feel when we're awake, how we feel throughout the day. And it doesn't seem like it, but it is a narcoleptic day. And I hate using those words, having a narcoleptic day. I'm just so tired. <laughs> I hate when I take a nap and I go down for the count and I wake up and it's nighttime and I'm just like, sounds bad. Paul loves it because I don't make him do chores around the house. He got to play video games majority of the time while I was sleeping and I'm not bothering him, but just very frustrated with myself very frustrated with myself because I'm the type of person that I want to do a lot during the day I want to get things done but when your illnesses just take over such as sleeping it's just a lot now this is when narcolepsy and narcolepsy world we do have a phrase sleepiness is not laziness and you know sometimes my mom could come in and she's like stop stop sleeping come on don't be lazy and I'm like I'm not, I really am trying not to. This was when I get frustrated with myself and I'm just like, why is this going on? Like, I'm wasting my day away and I really don't want to. Why am I feeling this way? You know, I do get frustrated with myself because I don't want to hold myself back. I'm trying not to hold myself back. I want to get stuff done. I want to be outside. Today was such a great day. You know, it is Floridian cold outside. 68 and I told Paul earlier today it was like 12 and I was like wow it's great outside we should try to do something go to Disney and you know that sleepiness narcolepsy sleepiness hit me really hard and I was like I don't think I could do anything so that really bothered me but now it's time to go to grocery shopping and I'm not feeling up for it and Paul's gonna have to practically do everything and I hate when I can't really do much with him or lend a hand he's gonna have to do all the grocery shopping put everything away and I hate when I can't do anything and help out because I feel like I'm more of a burden and I'm being you look at me and I'm just being lazy and I'm just really tired and exhausted and it sucks because I just look at myself. I slept from one to like seven, and then it's gonna be nighttime, and I'm going to hard. I'm gonna crash so hard again. So it's very frustrating. Narcolepsy is not a joke, guys. It's really a hard chronic illness, and mine's isn't really being treated just yet. We're still fighting to get the medication that I need to see if I'll get it. But tomorrow, we're going to talk to my doctor to see what's going on with insurance. Because apparently, Friday or Thursday, they did a peer-to-peer -peer with my doctor. They did a peer-to-peer. -peer. The doctor was supposed to call the insurance. And the insurance, and the insurance has their own doctor to talk to my doctor. So they're doing a peer-to-peer -to, -peer to finally get an okay for me to get this insurance. To get... They're gonna get an okay for me to get this medication, so I'm pretty hopeful right now. 
Hey guys, so we didn't go grocery shopping. I was just too worn out, too tired. Did not happen. Oh well. But I saw a comment that popped up on YouTube. And sometimes I feel like, you know what, that's a great topic to talk about. Uh, to educate and bring awareness. And it's all about narcolepsy. And today is a horrible narcolepsy day. So let's talk about it. So a lot of you guys, I posted a video a while ago about my frog phobia, and a lot of you guys, one of the questions was, why are you so scared of frogs, and how does that have to do with narcolepsy? Now when it comes down to narcolepsy, there's different types that play into narcolepsy, such as hallucinations, cataplexy, daytime sleepiness, and paralysis. Now the ones that I suffer from is type 2 narcolepsy, which comes from daytime sleepiness, which we saw me suffer from today, paralysis, hallucinations. I do not suffer from cataplexy. Now you may be asking, okay, what does this have to do with frog phobia? Now when it comes down to narcolepsy, sometimes when you're sleeping, your narcolepsy can, you know, feed off of your nightmares which can freak you out and so it can make you scared of your phobias even more. I was never that bad with frogs but one night it made it 10 times worse and I think that's when it made my frog phobia worsen. So one night I was sleeping and I had a nightmare about frogs. Not a big deal. It wasn't a big deal at all. All of a sudden I woke up. I couldn't move at all. Paralysis. Okay. Everybody handles their paralysis differently. What works for me does may not work for you. For me, I have to stay calm. I heard another narcoleptic say that they have to they start moving their body limbs little by little from their toes and up. I have to stay calm. I start, you know, being calm as possible. I can't hyperventilate. If I start panicking, it makes the paralysis even worse and lasts longer. Now, sadly, if, you know, sound hallucinations and seeing hallucinations come into play, I freak out like anybody else. If you're seeing stuff and hearing stuff, of course you're gonna start panicking. Now, this, this paralysis was a lot different. I was paralyzed, okay, I was like, let me stay calm, all of a sudden, I'm hearing frogs all around me, I'm starting to panic, I just start panicking, all of a sudden, I'm just seeing frogs jump all over me, across my face, and I'm like, I'm starting to hyperventilate, sadly, Paul is the best, wonderful, but when it comes down to nighttime narcolepsy, I need him to be my superman. He is the most heavy sleeper possible. He, he is not there for me. Now, I have Orion. He is crate trained. When we tell him to go in his crate, just waiting for Orion to just get up and go, um, you know, he will go. We have his crate open, though, of course. His door is open. So whenever, of course, I'm having paralysis, I'm starting to hyperventilate. Of course, I can still breathe. Orion is trying to hear me come out of his crate, start nudging, pushing, or, you know, pushing the bed really hard. That's when, you know, him nudging me really hard comes into play. He starts pushing, moving the bed as super hard as he can. And that's when the feeling of I'm not alone. I am, there's somebody here for me. This feeling of hopelessness, I'm not alone. These things I'm hearing, I'm seeing are fake because... Thankfully, if there was something actually here or something I'm hearing or seeing here, Ryan would be all over it. He is a golden. He loves to play. If there was really a frog around me, he would be all over it. If there was something really there, he would be all over it. So it's great to have him just let me know, hey, hey, there's nothing to be freaking out about. So I'm just like, okay, he's here. And when I wake up or I'm able to move, I'm like, oh my god, thank you. Thank you so much. So it's good to know he's here for me. And that, that episode passed and I could calm down. 
So, sadly, narcolepsy with nightmares and feeding off your nightmares is the worst feeling possible. Well, Paul got me sushi. I got a chicken roll. And then my favorite, a spicy tuna and don roll. I love it. I love raw fish. I can't. And I love spicy. And of course I got spicy mayo. Like, I love sushi. Ryan's here. Now, this weekend was a weekend to test my limits. I haven't had Chipotle in a really long time. Because before my gallbladder being taken out, um, it just killed me. But yesterday I tried it with Judd and Paul. Did not phase me at all. No stomach pain. It was perfect. Ryan, close the door again. Good boy. Good boy. But I did wonderful. But I'm still having a huge problem of I can't use the bathroom. I haven't... I used the bathroom in about a couple days now <laughs> maybe more I'm saying a couple days I'm just being optimistic but oh well I wish I could be on everybody's level who've gotten their gallbladder out and say yep I go all the time when I'm having bad horrible greasy foods but I'm not there with you guys so we're still following up with the whole rectal dysfunction and whatnot and we'll see what happens but I'm really happy though I am happy that I can have food again spicy food greasy food horribly bad 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 food and not have stomach pain so that is a great upside I'm happy about that but I'm not happy that I'm not going regularly still so oh well but I'm happy that I'm eating sushi here that's my favorite food but for now I'm ready to go to bed. I have Stranger Things on. The new season. Season 2. Sushi. Mmm. Um, it's a good day to finish off a horrible crony day. Spoony day. What can I do? But for now, adieu and good night. Bye guys. Bye.